Shafut Kali, a fortified mountain settlement in the Crimea, was established in the 5th or 6th century on the periphery of the Byzantine Empire. In the Middle Ages, the fortress was known as Kirkia, and as Karaitu which sect the greater part of its inhabitants belong, Selohayahatim. This is Chafut Kali, how tourists see it. But behind this fence with the inscription bypass, another Chafut Kali opens. Let's go on a tour with Alexander Kurtipin. Kurtipin Alexander Viktorovich, candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences. At the beginning of Perestroika, together with a group of like-minded people from Moscow State University, the Institute of Archaeology of the Russian Academy of Sciences, and a number of other scientific institutions, he created the Society for the Study of the Secrets and Mysteries of the Earth and I was elected its president. Let's take a tour of the stone roads of Chafut Kali. We get out on the road. Unfortunately, a shadow hides everything, but we will come out of the shadows, and the ruts will be more visible, and some kind of evil force, the most interesting field, where the ruts be best seen, where I am in the last time photographed them, and measured them, something blocked them. I don't understand this, by for what reason, and why the heritage of the past was hidden from people. I don't know this, but this is a branded disgrace. If it's not a repair restoration, and if it is simply hidden now from people, let's take a look and find out what happened. I will once again try to show that part of the ruts that we could not pass. But what can you see? The walls slightly shade the ruts. But here it is seen better. What I have seen in expeditions, are not isolated ruts, but a very widespread formation. And that's what is very interesting on in fact. When I tried to read the history of these ruts, the history of their research, in archaeological literature firstly, the practically nothing is said about them. For example, a huge field of ruts in Cappadocia, which are sized 100 by 150 kilometers. Nothing was said at all about it, and nothing is said anywhere. If summarize all the results of my many years of research on these interesting stone formations, stone roads and stone ruts, then the first thing that probably, they are all timed to the Neogans the alignment surface. The alignment surface of Neogan period, or Neogan Drilland, which is very well dated, about 15 million years old for this ruts. That here how the cars, or something like that, was contrived to ride these two tracks. The track width is about 10 centimeters, 11, 12 centimeters and did ride, over on top of each other, formed as a result of this approximately a furrow 30 centimeters wide. That's how they tried to ride, exclusively to such a furrow here. And here can probably already running ahead a little to say, that since at the time surface, the Neogans the alignment surface represented land covered with modern soils. They were like to modern soils, to some kind of clay loose mass. And apparently vehicles, which left these adhesives, was drive on them. That's why it's so good imprinted traces of the passage of wheels of vehicle. And they reached to our time. And later they petrified, just like petrified the footprints of the dinosaurs of the Paleogon, or other animals, traces of ancient people, and already fossilized traces founded by geologists and which later study, what in age of breeds they are located. Hence, these vehicles were drived on our still not petrified surfaces. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.